All right, it's week seven in your fantasy football season. Hopefully you're above 500 at this point. If not, you're clawing your way to get back in. What's going on, everybody? I'm Dennis Farrell. You can follow me on Twitter at Dennis77Farrell. Let me get you going for your week seven, giving you a heads up of waiver wire pickups this week's schedule and some injury news that you may need to know going in to your fantasy football week. Jets Patriots are your Thursday night game. Hopefully that worked out well for you. Tennessee Washington. Keep in mind, Washington versus quarterbacks are the worst in the league. Uh, it looks like Charlie Whitehorse may be the quarterback there. And fourth best against the run, I'm sitting Bishop Sankey this week. Seattle, St. Louis. Jacksonville, Cleveland. By the way, Jacksonville is about worse than everything. So if you're a Cleveland guy, you know Brian Hoyer may be a start for you this week if you have Nick Foles on a bye. Cincinnati, Indianapolis. Minnesota, Buffalo. Minnesota is the third worst against running backs. I'm still sitting C.J. Spiller because he hasn't shown me anything, but Fred Jackson is a RB2. He moves up from a flex play this week. Miami, Chicago. You have New Orleans, Detroit. New Orleans, believe or New Orleans, New Orleans. I'm, I'm so shocked I can't even get the name right that Detroit has the best defense in football. What? Yeah, it's true. I'm playing them in fantasy this week against New Orleans where I think they actually stop Drew Brees. I Tell me what bizarro fantasy football world that ever happened in. It's going to happen. By the way, uh, New Orleans is optimistic that Jimmy Graham will play. That helps me out a lot in a few leagues. He did practice. Some people are saying it's a ploy to confuse Detroit. I think he plays. He was suggested to miss two to three extra weeks after the sh shoulder injury. He's a go in my mind. I have him put in a flex spot. By the way, New Orleans is the 10th worst defense against the run, and Ridge, looks like Reggie Bush will play. I'm even starting Joe Bell this week. Kansas City, San Diego, Arizona, Oakland. Giants at Dallas. Giants are the 6th worst defense versus the run, and DeMarco Murray is beasting it this year. So in, hopefully you don't have to play against DeMarco Murray this game. San Francisco, Denver, Houston, Pittsburgh. And I wanted to set aside the Atlanta-Baltimore game. Here's an interesting matchup for me where I really think this could be a shootout game. Joe Flacco coming off a game where he had five touchdowns. Five. I think he has four extra this week. It's going to be crazy. Atlanta is the worst defense versus running backs. The 10th worst versus wide receivers. They're up there versus quarterbacks. I really think Baltimore has a field day with them. I love it. But I'm staying away from three of the Baltimore running backs. I'm not playing either one of them in the matchup. You don't know which one's going to get the majority of the carries right now. If you're in a flex emergency play, uh, you're going to have to go for set. But Bernard second, because I think Bernard sees some garbage time points here. By the way, Baltimore's the seventh worst versus wide receivers. And believe it or not, that's what Atlanta's known for. Are there wide receivers? All right, let me get on to some news of the week. Ryan Matthews has yet to start running, which means Oliver, the running back everybody's been picking up, is going to have a ton of value for at least three to four more weeks. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin, there's still a chance he plays after concussion. I'm not optimistic at all about it, so I'm having him on my bench right now. Looks like Megatron will not play this week next week maybe even the week after they say week nine after that bye he should come back i'm still worried about the high ankle sprain other news as you heard reggie bush will play uh i don't know man it's going to be a crazy week it looks like aj green's not going to play and jim like i said jimmy graham he was one of the big three guys i have on a team where i have megatron aj green and jimmy graham I was going to be without all three of them. I'm crossing my fingers on Jimmy Graham. I'm still very optimistic about it. And finally, guys, this week's waiver wire report. Go out and get Carson Palmer if you need a quarterback favorable matchup. He's owned in 39% of leagues. Brian Hoyer's owned in 11 if you missed out on the waiver wire bid for Carson Palmer. Uh, Jerick McKinnon owned in 37% of leagues. It looks like he's going to be the starting running back for Minnesota with Astasia taking a back seat now. I'm okay with that, and I'm going to pick him up. Isaiah Crowell is owned in 17% of leagues in Kleiman. I thought he really wants Ben Tate came back. He wasn't going to see any touches. I was wrong on that, by the way. I'm picking up him up in every league. Brandon Bolden in 
by the way, James White, two New England running backs. With Steven Ridley out for the season, Bolden's going to get the first shot. White may have a chance. Bolden's the one I'm picking up off the waivers, and I'm keeping an eye on James White. Bobby Rainey, only 29% of leagues. He's still getting a ton of play with with Doug Martin not performing correctly. So keep keep Bobby Rainey in mind. Andre Holmes, after a big game, only 6% of the leagues. I'm going out to pick him up like crazy. I think he continues to have the hot streak. Odell Beckham, he's only owned the 37% of the leagues. With Victor Cruz out for the season, I am loving me some Odell Beckham. Uh, Devontae Adams, owning 6% of the leagues. It looks like he's been st- stepping up in what Aaron Rodgers has been saying is he's seen him open a ton of times in game tape, and he's going to make a, a more of an effort to get him involved and look for him to be open. So to me that says, you know, if if a Hall of Fame quarterback, future Hall of Fame quarterback's thrown to you, I'm picking you up, by the way. Cecil Shorts, 38% of the league's coming off a great week where he had 16 targets and 103 yards. I'm loving this guy if he can stay healthy. All right, guys, remember, you can follow me on Twitter at Dennis77Farrell. Got a question? Shoot me an email. I'll get to it on the podcast, The F Word, which you can find on iTunes and Stitcher. Dennis77Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L, at gmail.com. And if you're Facebook, let's just say that's the only social media you do, and you need some fantasy football help, you need it, send me a friend request. I'm always helping people on game day. Dennis Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L. Thank you guys, and remember, Hell Hydra.